Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. Now, you might notice we are not in the studio today. No, we're not. This, even though this could be in the studio, we could be decorating it and whatever, but honestly, I probably wouldn't have the taste to do it so well. <laughs> I'm not saying you've got I a bad taste. I thought you were about to say I had bad taste then. I was like, uh, careful, Greg. <laughs> anyway, everybody, as you can see, I'm with Bex from Blow It With Bex. And we are at Blow It With Bex HQ. Hello. Hello. That was an interesting start. You <laughs> I was, was going to criticise your style. I thought this is not going well. It's, it's lovely. It's lovely. It's very nice. Very, Homely. very nice. And it smells nice as well. Yeah. So thank you for letting us come and visit you. Thank you for coming. The, the purpose of wanting to come here really is to talk about, well, how things are going, but also to, to show your, your HQ yeah. um, because I think it's a really important step and a really good step for a lot of people to make, and, but it can be quite a challenge to make that transition from working from home yeah. into, okay, I've, I've got to actually commit to, to something here. But we'll talk a little bit more about the details um, of that. In, in a minute but first of all how's things what's, what's going on yeah good same old busy as usual just yeah. running the academy and in-person training but yeah. yeah and how's the academy going amazing yeah love it absolutely love it and if people don't know what the academy is although i can't believe anybody out there would not know what the academy is do you want to tell everybody what the academy is um so it's a worldwide online subscription-based um academy where i upload tutorials every week um, you have access to me 24 hours a day answering questions um, supportive community on Facebook and WhatsApp we've got a WhatsApp group now oh. um, so yeah I just teach you everything that I know with balloons from the very basics to the big display so I think there's over a hundred tutorials on there at the minute um, and then all the information as well to do with setting up your own balloon business and how to run it it's everything there it's all on an app do you swear on the, on the thing? <laughs> no. All right, um, okay. I actually rein it in. Yeah, I'm very conscious that people might not like the swearing. Bex so believe it or not, I rein it in. <laughs> enjoys swearing. And when she first came down to film with us on BMTV, I had to explain to her she wasn't allowed to swear. <laughs> And then she discovered me swearing and you were, you were put at ease, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I was, yeah. I felt comfortable then. I thought, yeah, right, this is yeah. it. I'm fitting right in here. What about on your, your Instagram lives and stuff? Do you swear? No, I don't. You don't? Okay. <laughs> I know. Oh. Believe it or not, I don't. I don't know why I'm so focusing so much on your swearing. But <laughs> because it's very... You're, you're a professional. <laughs> yeah. That's it. We're both professionals. So, yeah, that's the academy. And... Yeah. What about your one-to-ones, your two-to-ones? Are you doing those still? Yeah, yeah so do my one-to-ones and two-to-ones every week, which are held here at my unit. Um, so, yeah, I still do those. And then next year, I'll be having my master classes up and running again. So, yeah, I still do in-person training every week. Yeah, fantastic. I didn't realise you are doing it every week. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Excellent. It's usually every Thursday and Saturday. So is there a waiting list? Um, so I, am, I d can fit you in here and there. Um, Russ, my husband's very good with ch helping out with childcare, so okay. I can squeeze people in. But yeah, it's usually Thursdays and Saturdays. Okay. But if if I want to squeeze someone else in, I can. So Brilliant. it's never an issue to get in. Now, as an influencer, which you clearly I are. That term. I know. But <laughs> you've, how many people, what are you up to now on Instagram? Uh, 115,000. 115,000, wow. When, when you first came down to film with us, what were you at? I wasn't even on 20 because I hit 20 and I used the studio to film. That's it, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy I how know. quickly that has happened. Well, congratulations Thank to you. Thank you very much. So would you say social media is an important part of, of, of growing your business? Huge. Huge. So I'm not going to sit here and say it's not important because it is. I wouldn't be sat here mm. if, if it, Instagram wasn't part of it. Um, so yeah, it's a massive part of my journey. Um, obviously, it, it it doesn't matter for people if you just want to do your basic jobs within your community. Mm. But um, to sit here and preach and say it doesn't matter is, I'd be lying. I, I think it's really interesting because I'm, I'm one of those people that if I'm going to use a business, I want to know about the business. Yeah. I want to get behind the scenes. I want to get a feel for the business. And I think that's what social media can do. And it's what we did when we were doing, we are still doing TikTok, just we, we paused it over yeah. over COVID. Um, 
just because it didn't seem the right time to be making silly videos and, and having fun. Um, but we're starting to get back into that. And it gives behind the scenes at Balloon Market and some of the silliness that goes yeah. on there. And obviously you came to visit me and did a, pic a picture of Remy at my desk <laughs> without, without my permission. So, so thank you for that. You don't mind. I don't mind at you all. No, it. that was really, really quite amusing. Uncle Greg. So, yeah. <laughs> Remy is Bex's daughter, and <laughs> if you follow her on Instagram, you would have seen on her stories, um, what month are we in? October. Um, you would have seen that um, Remy sat in my chair when I popped to the loo and ended up on, <laughs> on, on social media. She's part of the Bloom Market team now. But, it, but it, yeah, she is, absolutely. And we feed her sugar all the time. Our Uncle all Greg feeds her sugar, and she runs up and down the <laughs> office. But it's that sort of stuff that I think makes it interesting yeah. right? is, is that what you do on your Instagram? it makes you real it makes you so it's not just your perfect pictures no. your perfect videos oh no no you do a little bit of, of yeah. you oh yeah and remy is very in my academy as well like all my tutorials she is in loads of them i don't edit her out because mm. that's real life yeah. like i want to be real yeah. like i don't want to sugarcoat things and make it out to be perfect and this is me prancing around doing tutorials Remy's in it, and she even asks to go for a poo whilst in my tutorials. Um, and I don't edit it out, because yeah. why should I? Like, yeah. I'd say probably 80% of the people on my academy are mums, so yeah. it just makes it more relatable to have her there. And people get to know you as a person then, yeah. rather than just being... I think, it, I think it is important. It's when um, when we did that live, when you'd gone back down to Cornwall Oh, God, that something. was chaos. And there was chaos. <laughs> Russ was in the background. My parents, uh, Your parents the dog. were there. <laughs> and you were just carrying on and then stopping <laughs> and trying to control what was going on. It was quite fun. But I, I do think it's important. It's that side of social media that I think sometimes people forget about. And it's that side of social media that I think really does help a brand and yeah. helps you grow. And the authenticity just just is out there because on Instagram people I think are just very used to the pretty the pretty hoops the yeah, pretty yeah, yeah. arches the pretty just pretty anything and it all looks so perfect but getting behind the scenes I think is, is a really good use of social media yeah don't know why I started talking about that but it just know. sort of ended up going down that that route so um, as an influencer that's the other thing I was going to say um, you've obviously worked with Calisan for yeah. quite a while um, are you working with anybody else? Uh, Qualitex. I'm working with Qualitex okay. as well at the minute, okay. which is what, very exciting for me. What do you think of Qualitex? Are they all right? Oh, they're all right. They're all right. <laughs> joke, Qualitex, <laughs> joke. We love you. We, we love, love you. Um, so, yeah, so what we're actually going to do, because I'm a bit bored of talking to you now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Feelings mutual. <laughs> you don't need to edit that bit out, Alex. We'll keep that in. <laughs> a little bit offended. I'm in a fragile I'm state at the moment, I'm only as you joking, know. Glenn. Anyway, um, yeah, you're going to do something with Qualitex yeah. balloons, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Um, I'm going to use their balloons today to yeah. create a display. Right, okay, we'll do that in a second. Now, back to this place. We are in Blow It With Bex HQ. Now, how long have you been in here? Um, since March. And yeah, 1st of March, I moved in. So, March, April, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, eight months. Yeah. Um, has it made a difference to you and your business? Huge difference, a massive difference. In what way? Not even, like with my business as well, it's allowed me to grow, because obviously I can now do my one-to-ones, my two-to-ones, everything here, filming for my academy, whereas before I was moving my whole lounge around to film, yeah. like it just wasn't doable. That's okay in the nice weather to put everything out on the deck in, but yeah. when it's raining, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. it wasn't gonna work. Um, so it's allowed me to grow in that way. Um, it's funny because when I said to my husband about that, he was like, you don't need a unit, it's, we, we're fine, you don't need it. And then when we come to view the unit, he was the one that was like, yes, you need a unit. <laughs> we definitely need one. And now he's like, it's the best thing I ever did. Because yeah. also like personal life, like all the balloons at home, like I had a balloon room, so it wasn't too bad, but it still overruns your life. It spills out into the lounge and yeah. it becomes stressful and chaotic. And so, yeah, moving it out of my house means I can shut the door on it at night and that's it. It's yeah. done. 
It's really good because when we first started our business 18 years ago, it was balloon in a box gifts. Yeah. And it was in the conservatory and the, and the living room and it was just everywhere, Monday to Friday. Come Friday afternoon after Royal Mail had collected, mm. you have this big Royal Mail lorry coming up to your house. And um, after they collected, that's it, everything went in the garage, all the boxes went in yeah. the garage, the balloons, the helium, everything went in the garage. And then we, we got our house back for the, yeah. for the weekend. Um, but then when we got our first unit, which was a little bit bigger than this one, um, it was just a relief. It yeah. was really, really nice to have the, the house back. It feels like a weight lifted <coughs> off your shoulders, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. But uh, so t talk me through around what you've got here. So you've got some storage over there of yep. your balloons. It looks like you've been to Ikea. <laughs> yeah, I love Ikea, yeah. which is just down the road, so that's yeah, handy. absolutely. Um, and these things on the walls, what are these? These are all your... Uh, my floor. dried floral pieces that um, I hire out with my display. So yeah, I make them on the Academy. Yeah, they're stunning. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Apart from that one, that's a bit dodgy. What one? I'm joking. <laughs> Me and you aren't friends today. <laughs> uh, oh, it's all going a little bit off script. Um, so you've got your storage of your balloons yep. there. What's, what's over here in this area? Um, Flowers, actually. My flowers are crammed into that okay. unit now because I did have them in boxes. But I'm so like, I like everything to have a place and not left out everywhere. So yeah. little things like that over there is annoying me today. But yeah. that's because we're using those. So that's fine. So tucked all my flowers in that the storage unit over there. So yeah, they've yeah. got a little place. All colour coordinated, obviously. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Very nicely done. Yeah. Because it matches the... <laughs> and then you've got your... Um... What, what did you describe that as? Oh, we're behind? not going to talk we're about not gonna that. We're not going to say that. We're not so you've got some, <laughs> some, some nice screens hiding yep. basically boxes of stuff. Yeah, and my uh, sailboards and neon signs, stuff like just stuff that just I don't, don't need hanging around. Nice and compact and yep. it doesn't have an impact. You've put a giraffe in front of it Yeah. everything else. <laughs> and then you've got your, I'm not sure what kind of chair you would call that. Is that for you That's to, a peacock chair. That's a peacock chair. Yeah. It's like something I'm else. I'm sure you, used to, did you not have one when you were young? No, that was too long ago. I don't think they existed. I remember my grandparents having those oh, chairs, really? yeah. And like, they obviously went massively out of fashion while they're back in now. I think it was in a James Bond film. I can't remember which one, but... Yeah, they they're go. well in now. And then you've got your tea and coffee station. Oh, yeah, coffee station. Very important. Yeah. You've got the... So what do you use this area for, obviously, other than doing what um, we're doing today? So I do like little videos on my academy, like little confidence boost videos. So okay. I will sit here and film that. Um, obviously, when I have my one-to-ones and stuff around, we sit and chill here, talk yeah, yeah. about everything they want to talk about before we prep the balloons. So, yeah. And then we have the big area. Yep, filming is, area. Yeah, filming area. Nice, white, bright. We've, we've got a room a bit like this. I know. You, you I've, might, based, know I've based it off of your room, actually. Oh, did you? No. <laughs> yeah. The floor I did. When I went so you in, painted the yeah. floor white. Okay, excellent. So, that took a long time to happen because... I asked Russ, literally when I moved in here, I want the floor done white because of your your studio yeah. floor. I was like, yeah, that's what I want. And he only done that a f uh, couple months ago, maybe, not even that. It makes such a difference. And though, he's a floor it? layer. So, yeah. I mean, I, to be honest, I thought he take, took the mick a little bit. Yeah. Like, I should be the priority, get my floor done. Absolutely, but. absolutely. <laughs> it's not the, Shocking. Not the way it works no, sometimes, is it? But it's done and it's worth it. But it's I love it. It's great, and then from a, a, a photography point of view and filming point oh, of view, oh yeah, it, just, it makes it just such makes a difference. It far more professional. It does, looking. yeah. All right, very cool. Right, well, I really am bored of talking to you now, but <laughs> so I think we should um, crack on and show everybody out there what you're going to do with Qualitex okay. balloons. Yeah. Look oh. forward to it. Uh, should we do a clicky finger thing? Do we do a click? Let's do a clicky finger thing for a what, transition. So we to, move to that. So we move to that. Let's okay. do a clicky finger. One, One two, two, three. <laughs> that was good. I think I actually did a click. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, we're back, and we've moved. We've transformed, transformed, transported to to the other part. This may look a little bit like the BMTV studio. It's not. It's the Florida Beck studio. So white floor and, and everything. So here we are. You've done something already. Yeah. What is it we're actually doing today? We're going to create a holly wreath, but do it as a double hoop, which a is my favorite. Big yeah, holly wreath. Yeah, a big holly wreath. Okay. 
So, and you say we, it means you are going to no, do it. No, you're I'm, helping, Greg. You're taking part. I'm not going to help. I, I don't you're... do stuff like that. I've never, never. I've just seen you put a. Cast I know, but on. we don't want to tell everybody that. Do you want me to do another one? Do you want yeah, me to actually... I think we should. This is where it's going to go wrong. One to you one with that? Bex. Yeah, you see, lucky one to one. Thing. Getting it free as well. <laughs> one to one. Right. What do you want me to do? Pick up a cluster. Which any any particular colour? Yeah, we're not over, no, we don't overthink because if you overthink, you're stressing, you won't enjoy it. But the so last time, somebody told me to just do something. You got told off. I got told off. Was that Julie by it, any chance? It was Julie. Yeah. And she said, put it there. Yeah. And I put it there. And she said, no, not there. She's a bit bossy, so, isn't she? And she said, put it anywhere. <laughs> and then I put it somewhere and she said, not there. So that's why I just want to make sure. No. So you, you're not too No, worried. no, no. I'm not going to tell you off. All right. In that case, I'm going to... You're going to go for a dark green. Right? Yeah. Okay. What am I going to do? So you're going to slip the cluster This on. never happens, by the way. <laughs> a BMTV first. <clears throat> Slip it on. I've slipped it up. Um, it's, it, it's, there you go. Uh, right, grab in all the necks, push it up to the cluster above, and then twist the two balloons that oh, these two. have got okay. the hoop between them. They might burst. No, they're Qualitex balloons. Okay. They right. Don't pop any. <laughs> there you go. Look at that, a natural. Okay. <laughs> all right, that's it. I'm not doing any more. So this, that's, that's the basic. So basically, you make... Clusters of clusters of eight, yeah. Eight, and then that's what you do. So that's yeah. the, the basis of what you're doing today. Yeah. So that's the outside ring. But you've only allowed me to do the easy bit because you said it gets a bit more complicated. Well, yeah. I think we should let you have a go at the next. No. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right. Okay. So um, let's go. Let's let's do some more. I'm not going to do any more. By the Are you way. not? No, no. I no, thought no. you were going to go for it then. No. So right. I'll, so I'm again. Gonna, oh, I'm uncomfortable. Oh, I'm on the wrong we side. Go. I'm Out on the wrong your side. Comfort zone. Slip this through the clusters. Push it up and twist. You made that look far easier. I can hand things to you. Do you want me to hand That'd things to you? That'd be great. We're just doing clusters of eight on the outside. That's one of those. It. Well done. So that's a good choice of colour, I think. Was, yeah. So we're going to do that all the way. So I've got a question for you. Yep. You've obviously been in the industry now for what, three years? Two. Two years? Only two years. Two years. Blimey. Um, what have you seen change in that two years? Well, that's a really good question. I know. Organics is, this style of organics yeah. um, has become a lot bigger. Do you think this is here to stay? Do you reckon? Yes. This is what's... I think it's here to stay, but I think people will keep adapting it to try and make themselves stand out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's here to stay, definitely. Next one. What, what colour? What size? Where are my eights gone? What, but, what, what, what they, these are sixes. Oh, it's... Oh, Bex, it's all gone horribly wrong. You've not got enough balloons. No, I have. <laughs> we'll use the six. It's no, no dramas. Right. So you've got to figure things out. Yeah. Right, so for the bottom of the hoop, <clears throat> you are pushing that onto the hoop, and then you're getting a 260Q. And you're tying through the cluster and underneath the hoop. Now, okay. some hoops you can wrap it around, but mine is close to the floor. I yeah, the we've hoop got that you the hoop squeeze tail. I've can, got yeah, wrap more of a gap. It's about that much of a gap. Yeah, so you can easily wrap it around on those. So you tie to that, and then you're going to be tying with the neck to neck okay. of the cluster next to it. And that just brings them tight that just brings together. Them tight, yeah. So double knot it like that, and then we'll get another one. That's an eight, look. That's an eight there. Oh no, that's, that's going the same colour. It's fine. You don't need to overthink it. That upsets me a little bit. I don't, I don't think See? that's See? Well, then you'd stress about it. You've got, you've got a Bex hair your... there as well. Look. <sighs> get rid of that. Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I thought you were all about the authenticity, the reality. <laughs> the reality. Your Keeping hair is going to get hair everywhere. Goes everywhere, yeah. Does your hair block the drain at home in the shower? No, it's Russ's, actually. Okay. <laughs> I'll go, it's Russ's shaving his, shaving his hair and his beard. <laughs> okay. Right, so again, neck to neck, but on this one, you're going to tie it to both. Okay. To keep it into place. That. that looks all right, thanks. It's not bad, is it? It's all right, yeah. It's only the beginning. Like that. That keeps them tight together. Right, so that's the 
that's how you would do a single hoop, but we're yeah. going to do a double hoop. Do Obviously, that. you need to weigh down your hoop. Yeah. I always forget to say that. That's really important. Big because, sandbags, that's what they are. Yeah, they are. They're just off of uh, Amazon, just parasol sandbags, um, because when you add foliage and stuff like that at the front, it becomes front heavy, so it'll tip. I see. So you okay. don't want to risk hurting a customer. Yeah. Um, are you comfortable staying on that side? I'll stay on this side, yeah? just go for it, yeah. Another first. <laughs> so then the inside ring is clusters of six. So these are tied with the necks to the clusters on the outside. Now it won't go cluster to cluster, it will kick out eventually because obviously the inside ring is smaller. But you're going to try and make it cluster to cluster okay. so that it's tight. Um, so you're literally grabbing the neck from cluster on the outside. Now the clusters on the outside will be harder to find a neck because they are wrapped around the pole. Yeah. If you are struggling to tie it, I'll show you what you can do. You could pass balloons. I can, you? I can. Just I tell mean, me what you want. That would be helpful. Any? We're not overthinking it, Greg. Are you, are you implying that I'm not being helpful? <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, there was a little bit of implication <laughs> there, if I'm honest. So if you're struggling to tie it in the position you want to tie it, then bring the neck forward, tie it forward, and then push it all right. back. Like that. There you go. Are you going to tie those two together or not? Do no. I need to do that. Okay. So, once I have attached all of my clusters of six, if they're not sitting right because they might slide around, you could then tie these together okay. to get them tight. But you don't need position. to to start with. You don't need they're to. They're all effectively no. going to be yeah. squeezed against each other. Exactly. Okay. So you'd only need to do that if it needs be. They're not sitting perfectly. All right, I'm going to shut up now and let you get on with it. All right, so you've done that. You've done the inner hoop. Yep. Looks all right. It's not too shabby, is it? So we, we obviously these are Qualitex balloons. Yes. We totally forgot to say what colours, what colours? of Qualitex balloons are there. So we have spring green. Spring green. Green, chrome green, and winter green. All the greens. Yeah. Very good. So what we're going to do now? We are. Oh, gonna... what have you done? They're all the same size. Yeah. Right. So the outside, the clusters of eight. There's some more of my hair. Um, they are inflated to different sizes, ranging from seven inches to eight and a half. Um, the inside ring, I always stick to around the same size of about seven and a half inches. Okay. Only because I find that if I change the sizes up of this ring, the, hoop, the center kicks out a bit. It doesn't okay. stay as a proper circle. Okay. So, so what are we going to do? We're going to add on the five inch trios now. So, I've got yeah, some of those. you've got them. Some I prepared earlier. Making yourself useful. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting, getting good at this. So, what we're going to do is tie on with the necks colour to colour. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to do this style reef in, in my style okay. um, with loads of foliage and stuff. But yep. if you wanted to add a little something different, you could add trios of red on okay, yeah. to make the berries. So you're going to use the, the, the I'm going to use dried foliage. Dried fake flowers and, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, to, um, yeah. Okay. Do you want this? Okay, so with the necks, we're tying colour to colour. All right. Reaching okay. in. Are you going to do some or? I, I'll probably do you break it. Do want to it. give it a go? No. No? I mean, I can, but I'll probably do it wrong. You won't do it wrong. I'm really good at handing balloons to people. Yeah. So we're literally just going to tie them on where we where we fancy. So I always do trios because I always find they sit perfectly amongst the cluster. So they literally sit perfect like that. So um, yeah, I'm good at the handy. Yeah, so I always do them about the size of a, an orange. Well, some of these are, the, so it's not an, an exact size. No, no, so no. Some of these yeah, just what I fancy okay. by the eye, yeah. I mean, they don't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of organics. I might try one. You can Go tell on. me off if I get it wrong. So what am I doing? I'm using this neck and yep. just pulling it in. And, and tying, tying it. it. This is just, just to anywhere. No, tying it to another neck. Well, I know, I realise that, but... Um, 
Oh, I'm just wondering. See, I can't, see, I can't do it. I can't do it, Bex. I think you can. Cut! No, There's no cut. such thing as I can't, Greg. There is. There is. I can't do this. There's oh, the see, neck. Okay, all right. Okay. All tie right. it in a double Sorry, knot. Sorry, I was trying to tie it around the neck. Yeah, that's where you went wrong. This is why I don't do balloons, because... But you own a balloon business. I know, but I don't <laughs> do the balloons. I, I sell the balloons. This is good. Well, it, it, it's not attached yet. I mean, it's carry quite on. fiddly, isn't it? It's very fiddly. Well, I was right? holding the hoop in case. This is why I don't do it. Hold it I'm over. telling you. She'll do three by the time I've done one. Yeah, but that's because I do. Hey, it. Well that. done. Did it? There you go. Pat on the back. See, if Greg can do it, everyone can do it. Come on. It's not very nice, is it? Well, you know that's true. It is true, to be honest. Yeah. If I can do it, you can do it, anybody can do exactly. it. Exactly. And there's no such thing as I can't. Seemingly not. Practice makes perfect. You know, well, that's not true. That Practice true. makes progress, my daughter was told at school. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. I like yeah. that. I'm a bit worried about ah, tying. This is so hard. Tying knots is so hard. It's because you can't see what you're doing. And I've got big fat fingers. Yeah, that might be it, yeah. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. I love the way you join in and... <laughs> oh. It's too hard, Bex. No, you were on a hard. roll. You were on a roll then. I wasn't on a roll at all. Done it. So five inch and seven inch chrome yeah. are inserted now. Um, looks very nice, but it's kind of sticking out a bit. What's <laughs> what's that about? That's fine. Um, you well, laugh at me. What's wrong with me? But it's sticking out a bit, Bex. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. You don't need to worry about that because um, it's very hard to get it perfect. Um, but if you look at that in the camera, if you were to look at that, take a picture of it, you cannot see that that's protruding yeah. or going back at all. So I always think, don't stress about that. Okay. As little as if you can stress as little as possible, then it'll make the job more enjoyable. But if you did want to try and do it, you just you can manipulate yeah manipulate, it and manipulate move it the clusters around, around. Yeah, that's no problem. Okay. Um, but but you're not worried about it. No, I'm not because in photos it looks perfect. Cool. So what are we going to do now? We are going to add. Um, so we all know I like my flowers, but we're going to add foliage in this. Do you um, want me to grab something? Yeah, that would be good. Okay. Yeah. Just tell me what you want me to do. Um, and I'll do it. Well, whatever you want to do. For, yeah, let's go with that foliage first, and then we'll add the berries, a basket of foliage. That is so nice. <laughs> so. Are you going to ask me to put something in? I'm going to try it. You've got yeah, me, do you've it. You've got me in the mood. Yeah. So we're literally going to be putting in through gaps. Okay. Um, so the foliage that's got long stems. That's it. Is that it? Yeah, it's easy, isn't it? The foliage that's got long stems, you don't want to be popping balloons, obviously. So if there isn't a gap, you're going to be putting your hand in and opening up a gap okay. and then pushing okay. the flowers through because um, you want to try not to pop. But yeah, we're just going to add loads of foliage and because loads of reefs are just random. They are. So we're just going to add the Bex touch with this today. Oh, look at these. There you go, you're getting right in it now, aren't you? These are all together. They're supposed to be together like that. Yep. All right. So we'll add these and then we're going to add loads of holly berries and stuff in as well. I'm probably putting these in really bad positions. No, you're all right. You've got a lot Ooh, to add got in. Oh, so. big, big, long neck. But we're going to add a bow here. Oh, look so at that. I did that really perfect. well. Perfect, perfect, Greg. Perfect. We'll add a she bow there, perfect. so we'll leave this bit... <laughs> Clear, okay. Said it was perfect. Yeah. I'm pleased with that. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> it's made your day, isn't it? I just it? need a little bit of credit every now and then. Yeah. Uh, a bit of reassurance. Exactly. Ooh, what's this one? I'm stuck now. I don't know where no, to. No, just put... more is more. So we just keep adding. More is always more when it comes to flowers. Oh, no, not up there. Oh, not up there. Oh, here. Yeah. You need to always take a step back and look as well, just to see if you're 
You know, I reckon my side's better than your side. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're really confident today, aren't you? <laughs> ah! Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, it's got a spiky yes, blick. Look, yes. you didn't warn me about that. Also, well, I should be bending this, shouldn't I? No, you don't need to. You just need to be careful placing it in. You've just got a bit too. I got too cocky, didn't too I? Too cocky. cocky. Also, because the clusters are eight on the outside, you won't notice a balloon pop. So really, don't stress about that. It really doesn't matter. Um, Actually, it still looks really good. Exactly. You don't notice one balloon popping. So it's not the end of the world. Never have I been so involved in doing it. stuff You've on a BMW. I'm taking my stool away though. Ooh. I'm too short. Sorry. I love this. This is really good. Yes, yeah, it's looking alright. Well, that's a nice one. So tell me. Yep. Why do you shop at balloon markets? <laughs> I don't know, really. Oh, <laughs> I'm only joking. That is not nice. I am only joking. Not nice. Do you want this to be aired or not? <laughs> oh! Oh my goodness! I did, it was bent and everything. I wow. didn't realise it, it, it had a, a, a. Is that the same plaster? No, it's a different no, one. You're fine. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to stop now. It's fine. I've had enough. You don't notice I've it. I've had enough. There we go. That's it's harder than it looks. It is, isn't it? Yeah. You can Can't use that one. You're crying So I've lost this all my confidence now. A funky looking reef, this is. <laughs> I think Can we, we just point out that Bex is winging it, is what she yeah. said. So this isn't planned, this is not no. something she's done before. No, I've so never done it So we're figuring it out yeah. as you go along. And you, do you think that's a, something that has to be done? Yeah. Is that, is that how you learn stuff? I think stuff? you can't, you can't, plan, you can try and plan as much as you can, but um, things never go to plan anyway, full stop. Yeah. And ideas, like, you've got to try it out once, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Like, so, yeah. So would you practice? So you've not got a job on, but you've got an idea. Would you practice that here first? Yeah, you could do. Yeah. yeah. I always say fake it till you make it. Um, so You'll make it one day, Pax, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear Greg. Uh, um Bex wants to swear now. No I <laughs> <laughs> Customers don't know what you do unless it's on your Instagram. Yeah. Like so if you haven't got a hoop on your Instagram, practice a hoop yeah. at home and then upload it on your Instagram. Yeah. The customer won't order. What they can't, can't see. see. Yeah, very good point. I yeah. Like that. So, yeah, fake it to make That's it. That's a good soundbite, that right there. Customers never. Um... What order? What they can't see? Yeah. Do you find you tell customers what they want? Do you do a lot of that? Or do um, they come to you and say, I want that they off come, Instagram? Yeah, most people come to you with ideas. They'll screenshot work that they've seen elsewhere and ask you to do it. Yeah. Um, there will be the odd few that will be. Be like here's my budget okay I, I trust you do what you like yeah um so yeah but that's very rare that you get that right i think we're gonna add the okay holly oh. now let me get rid of that for you now this is going to be sharp greg so i'm gonna let you do that well this is nice where'd you get this <laughs> these lovely little berries are from balloon market they're from balloon market yes. <laughs> so we're just going to add these in they quite nice, to make they? they are lovely hide the tags they're really nice really nice and shiny we'll space I'd... these i'm out. a little bit scared to, to put this in here there you go right, i've done one sticking out a bit there don't want to push it too far it's fine it's fine i don't want to burst another balloon fine Oh, I think it looks good with these in. Only the best of balloon market. Yeah, that's it. So what are you doing at Christmas? Are you asking me this on TV? Yeah. On BMTV? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you stopped filming to ask me this. Why would I, I, why, what are you planning? I don't know. All right, okay. Um, 
so my parents obviously live in Cornwall, so I s spread my time out over Christmas. I see. But uh, this year we're up here with my husband's family, but I'm hoping my parents are going to come up to us as well, so have everyone together. Nice. That's the plan, but... I've we'll no see. idea what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, what are you going to do? I know. Who knows? See my family, I guess. Need Christmas dinner, I guess. Right. That looks very good. We'll add some more of this now. More? More is more when it comes to flowers and decorating. Do we sell these as well? No. No, we don't? No. Why not? Oh, do you? Yeah, sure we don't. I think you do similar ones. I like these. I'll have to get these. Yeah. They're cute, aren't they? They are. Do you want me to put it in somewhere? Yeah, be careful because they're sharp though, those ones. There you go, done it. Oh yeah, we're now looking like a reef now, aren't we? So you're going to finish it off? Yep. With a big bow? Yes, I am, yeah. Let me grab one for you. Perfect, thank you. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> it's got something on the back. Yep, Which... so we've literally just attached a 260Q in a loop, so tied it in a knot, and I'm going to loop that over two of the balloons to get it to sit perfectly in the middle at okay. the bottom to give it the reef effect. So literally just... Do you need to get rid of that little that. pick? Um, oh, no. That's all right. I'll just move it out of the way. There we go. Let it to sit there. That's really nice. There we go. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. Now, the, the, there's one other thing we're going to do. Yeah. But we're going to do it off screen and we're going to present the final effect to you, which is LED lights. So watch right to the end and then at the very end, we're going to show you the completed job. But in the meantime, Bex, as a guest on BMTV, you know you get to ask everybody yep. the question of the week. Okay. What so, is the question of the week? So I said I fake it till I make it. That's how I started my business. What do you do to get yourself out there on Instagram to new customers? Okay. Excellent. I don't even have to repeat it. That's perfectly. What yeah. do you do? On, perfectly stated. Just what Bex said. We'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Um, right, well, thank you so much, thank Bex, you. for that. It's been a, a joy coming here, even with the abuse. <laughs> and thank you out there, everybody, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon, and you'll be notified every time we upload a new show. Right, stay happy and stay positive, and Merry Christmas, and uh, talk to you all soon. Bye. Bye.